بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته this lesson or this explanation is about nucleophilic substitution reaction mechanisms and in nucleophilic substitution reaction these reactions involve the attack of a nucleophile to a positive or a partially positive atom or a group now the positive or the partially positive atom or group will be our electrophile now nucleophiles which are famous in chemical reactions of this kind are hydroxide ion and any halide ion, cyanide ion, ammonia molecules. Now, among all these nucleophiles, we have one property which is, which is shared between them, that is having lone pair or pairs of electrons on them. Now, remember, in halide ions, we have three lone, pair of, lone pairs of electrons on them. Now, mechanisms for, elect for nucleophilic substitution are classified into two types, the SN1 and the SN2 mechanism. Now, the SN1, I'm, I'm going to, to explain this uh, part of uh, reactions for haloalkanes. Now, SN1 mechanism happens for tertiary haloalkanes, and these tertiary haloalkanes will be attacked by the nucleophile, and the SN2 for primary haloalkanes attacked also by the nucleophile. Let's go to the SN1 mechanism. Now, SN refers to the nucleophilic substitution. And number one refers or tells us that rate of reaction depends only on the concentration of the electrophile. Now, what will happen here? A bond breaking will happen during the reaction, and this bond breaking is heterolytic fission. Yani it's unequal bond breaking. One atom or a group will leave with both electrons involved in the bonding here. Now, let's look. This is a tertiary haloalkane. This tertiary haloalkane is named 2-bromo-2-methylpropane. Now, 2-bromo-2-methylpropane has a partial positive charge on this central carbon and a partial negative charge on the bromide or uh, bromine atom. Now, what will happen? Heterolytic bond fission will happen here, and both electrons involved in this bond will go to the bromine atom. And the carbocation intermediate will form, and the bromine will leave with the two electrons, and it will leave as a bromide ion. Now, the carbocation will be attacked here by the hydroxyl group. The OH group has a lone pair of electrons, which will attack the positive charge on the carbon. This carbocation intermediate is so stable. That's why it forms, and it remains in the medium. Now, the step of bond fission, heterolytic bond fission, that happens here takes time. This is a bond breaking. It takes time. That's why this step is a slow step. Breaking of the bond between the halogen atom and the rest of the compound. Now look at this intermediate. This intermediate has a carbocation with a positive charge and this hydroxyl nucleophile group which will attack the carbocation. Now attack of a negatively charged particle to a positively charged particle, this attack will happen so fast. That's why this step is so fast. Now. Which of these steps will determine rate of reaction? This step, slow step. And this reaction here, rate depends on the concentration of the haloalkane entering the reaction. Okay, that's why we name it nucleophilic substitution of the first order. One refers to that, that the rate depends on the concentration of one reactant, which is the haloalkane. Now here, during the attack, the nucleophile attacks the carbocation intermediate. This is the nucleophile, so our intermediate will be the electrophile. Now, after the attack, a tertiary alcohol will form, and the bromide ion remains together with the uh, whatever present, a cation present like such as sodium, and will join forming sodium bromide ion compound. Now, uh, this reaction is an example of the nucleophilic substitution reaction of the first order SN1 mechanism. Thank you, and continue in the second video.